This is Mark Summers from Summers Technical Services. We're going to do another tutorial today uh, using SolidWorks on a little spacer model. We'll do a drawing later. But for now, we're going to do a little simple spacer model. It's going to show us how to use uh, the revolve command. So I'll start a new part using our standard inch part template. <clears throat> And then we'll start a new sketch, and we'll sketch on the front plane to orient my part correctly. And I'll sketch half of the part, and as we revolve it around, it'll create the entire part. So there's the shape. I want to put a center line in to revolve about. and select the line and we'll change it to an infinite line infinite length and i want the center line to fall on the origin so i want to select the center line select the origin and tell it i want to make them coincident now as I put in dimensions, I want to be careful. I want to put in my dimensions as diameters, not radius. So if I drag the dimension over to the other side, it'll change to a diameter dimension, which is what I want. So the hole is 51 diameter. This radius or diameter here, according to my drawing, is one and a quarter. And the overall diameter of the part again making sure I drag it to the other side over here is two and a quarter here's my horizontal dimensions and these entities are turning black as they become constrained now I'm going to give this dimension here which needs to be 0.18 and then the overall height is 0.5 I also want to have this bottom edge line up with the origin as well. So I'll select that line and the part origin, which is right there. And we'll make those horizontally constrained. Oops, I was in the dimension command. Let's get out of dimension. Select that one. Looks like I've already got that lined up because that line is black. Okay, now I can improve the sketch or exit the sketch. With the sketch selected, I'll go to my Features tab to Revolve. It'll assume I want to revolve about the center line created and also do a 360 revolve, which is what I want. So there we go with our main shape. Now I'm going to throw these fillets in. They're 30-second fillets, 132nd inch fillets. Type that in as a fraction and just select these four edges one, two. Notice they populate the field there. So there's all four of them. Approve the fillet. Also, I have a chamfer on this hole, 020 by 45 chamfer. So I'll pull that down below the fillet command. Choose the chamfer. Make it a 020. A 45 chamfer is looking for the edges. I want that edge right there. That edge right there. Oops, I grabbed the face by mistake, so I'm going to remove that one. Be more careful and select that edge. Now I've got both my edges, my chamfer. Now the last thing to do is drill some holes. I'm going to be careful to line those holes up. I want the holes to be drilled on the front plane here, so I want them over here at these two faces right here and here so I will go to my hole wizard and when the dialog box pops up I'll ask for a standard hole size is already selected 316 diameter I want to through all 
So I've got all my choices selected. Now I'll toggle over to positions. It's just looking for a face. And I want to click here and here for my two holes. I'll prove that. If you notice, it'll make two sketches. It'll make a sketch of the two points I selected and also make a sketch for the hole. So if I've got a counterboard countersink, it'll change that sketch accordingly. So now that I have my uh, holes located, I didn't control the sketch very well. I want them right on that plane. So I'll go back into that sketch with the points right click and then say edit sketch I want these two points here to line up horizontally so I select those two points and make those line up horizontally now I want to line them also up horizontally with the origin so I select one of the points and then poke around down here and try to find the origin. It's here somewhere. There it is right there. Shift select the second one. And with both of those in the selected entities, I'll make those also line up horizontally. Now the last thing I need is a dimension. So I'll go back to the sketch tab, smart dimension. Here to here needs to be one and a quarter or one and three quarters. And then to make it centered, I'll go here to here and make that half of that. and approve get out of the sketch so there's my part not too difficult pretty simple part so now the next thing to do is to do the drawing which is what we'll do on the next tutorial so until then we'll uh, leave it at that and the next tutorial will be on the drawing for this spacer model